you're going to the work camp yourself in your mind. Um, you're you've given them all your power. You've you, you've you sacrificed everything to, to to them for nothing, and not even for the attempt, not even for the at least the honor of seeming being able to say I, I tried. You know, I, I think that's going to be on my headstone. Basically, it's going to be like Ch childish cowardice. Right, exactly. You know, uh, it's and I think that that frustration and that resentment is a critical part of this inversion. That liberalism essentially is, uh, I've, I've called it a Gnostic factory. I think it's also just, it feeds on resentment. Uh, it's always that, it, it's it's in the name, right? To, to, to liberate yourself from something, it means you have to be oppressed on some level. And the, oppre and the oppressor are always resentful to their oppressor. It's a natural state of being like that. You know, we can't almost fault someone for feeling that on some level. But you have to be able to re redirect that and use it in, in a positive way. If you don't, then it just becomes infantile and, and like I said, you know, as we were saying before about toddler-like toddler be behavior, they just start to invert things. They just, you know, become, become contrary for contrary's sake. You know, put on your shoes. No. Why not? I don't want to put my shoes on. Like, well, just put your shoes on. <laughs> you put your shoes on yesterday. If you're gonna put your shoes on tomorrow. Why do you you know you don't you don't want to put your shoes on today? No, because you're being they're being told to be, put their shoes on, and they're and they're just saying no to see if they can get away with it. Um, it's not rational. It's not reasonable. It's it's not it's neither good nor bad. It's just it, it it's it's a state of being that we all go through. But you you got to get that trained out of you or. Or realize that 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 instinct to say no, which is a good thing to have, has to be done at the right times in the right places. That the the no that that contrarian instinct with your shoes is 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 incorrect. But that contrarian instinct might be vitally great or very important at some other point when they come to you and go, well, now you have to do this other thing. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. No, no, even I'm at the sorry. cost of my 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 wealth and position or even my life yeah there are certain places where and i don't welcome them you know <clears throat> um yeah god keep it far from me but uh yeah there are uh there are circumstances where you have to meaningfully say no and there's the whole idea of obligation in general you know your point about um liberalism the idea of liberation um the 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 really um nihilistic stance of believing that whatever circumstances that you find yourself in, if it entails being constricted or bound, that it is something that you must resent and free yourself from. I mean, the, you know, I mentioned earlier the whole thing of guard, garden, warden, ward, uh, girdle, you know, um, gird, um, all of those things, you know, the protected enclosure, the space that is protected, and the idea of a king with a ritual of cincture. Um, He's belted, and it is that belt that holds the sword to which he has recourse at his waist, right? And that is the sword of uh, justice, right? Um, there's an old thing from the Royal Book of Spiritual Chivalry. They say, when asked, you know, uh, what is the secret of the sword? And they say, um, it is uh, answer, because this, the teaching in this book is basically a series of questions to which the answers must be um memorized and uh, thereby made a part of one's character and probably had to do with initiation and sort of passing the tests as it were they say when asked what is the secret of the sword uh, the grip of the sword um and the, they say answer um he who takes up the sword without uh justice and righteousness in his heart deserves not to grasp the hilt but to be struck with it you know the idea is that only from uh, a true um, obligation, which means being bound. The belt is nothing but a part of traction systems. It's to harness an animal to a thing that it must carry, which is its charge or cargo. Again, we're dealing with etym etym etymology here. To charge someone with something is to put a weight upon them that they must bear and carry. The cargo, the thing that goes in the carriage, all from those roots. And the, the, the rings and belts of binding are what symbolize obligations. So when the Roman Empire was worth a fuck, the, uh, the symbol of citizenship was an iron ring of obligation. Mm -hmm. It's only when they became, you know, um, effeminate and, uh, 
and uh, yeah, moribund culturally, I would argue that they b began to parade with these gold rings, and the, the, those that aspect of obligation, whether it's expressed as the circlet of a crown, the circlet of a ring, the circlet of a belt that binds your waist, in all cases, it's to be girded, which means to be obligated and bound to protect that which is within the enclosure. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we don't seem to recognize that um, th that is the basis of marriage, you know, and, and that is the basis of forming a household, which is going to be something that you guard, you know, and it will be within the garth, which is what distinguishes the garden from everything that's outside of it. And uh, your family become your wards and um, you protect them. And the symbol of that obligation is the, the ring that you bear. And uh, yeah, so to come back to the idea of the house and the household and a vision for the future and the possibilities of uh, bloodlines and the way in which perhaps we can address this intergenerational chaos that currently manifests as the vengeful son. Yeah, my, my best guess in agreement with you is um, uh, manly obligation and uh and the recognition and undertaking of uh one's charge which is to uh to um make a home and make it fit for a woman and for children to uh, to to exist within and to come up and provide us with the uh the brighter future the one we envision in the form of uh, our children with you know we that we seek to um assist and equip with everything that they're going to need to um to survive this circus and um and perhaps improve it yeah redeem the father by but let's say this this point uh we move forward we become the father by redeeming the father by, the king is by dead being... long live the king exactly let's end it there